Greetings summoners, wow. Invader Sive here. Welcome to another episode of League of Legends Point of View. Today, I will be playing a normal draft game as top lane Gangplank. And as always, my runes and masteries will be at the description of this video. Here we go. Team comp is Misfortune and Tarek Bard. We got Master Yi with Teleport in the jungle. Uh, Jarvan mid and Riven top, which will be my opponent. Um, it's kind of uh, weird, but they could potentially switch lanes. I doubt it though. Jarvan's much better mid, but they could. And either way, I did start off with a cloth armor and five health pot, so I, sh I should be set up to whoever I have to fight at the top lane. So I am playing Gangplank because he's actually been requested quite a bit, maybe not as much as other champions, and I'll try and play those as well, guys. But Gangplank is a pretty fun champion and a really underplayed champion at that. That's why I decided to play him here for you guys. And uh, and overall, he's he's still a really tr uh, strong bruiser type of champion. He does have a, a good kit for the top lane. He has a long range uh, ability that allows him to farm and actually is built for farming your Q. You got some sustain and crowd control re uh, removal which is great because you are able to survive a lot of ganks thanks to it. And this also heals you up and you got yourself a, a really decent passive which gives you more movement speed and, and an additional movement speed that you can activate. Uh, at a moment's notice to gain even more uh, buffs to yourself and of course a global ultimate which is quite possibly one of these the strongest uh, things to have in a top laner of course being able to be uh, present in, in pretty much all the fights so I, I decided not to, to keep attacking the blue buff there because my passive could potentially steal it from Shaco it's really t uh, hard for that to happen but it, it will happen sometimes so yeah just gotta be careful for that and right, right off the bat, I'm going to be aggressive against the Riven. Uh, as you can see, she's a little bit low on, on HP, so that means th that she either uh, did the small golems by herself, or she helped. Oh, yeah, she actually helped out um, somewhere in the map for some reason. I'm going to fight her head on, because I know I I'm stronger than her. There we go, I got her. <laughs> yeah, R Riven usually wants to fight you head on. Oh, nice job, Master Yi, but... Uh, you actually have a lot of damage thanks to your passive, and if you get a couple of good uh, Q hits there and get your passive going, because your Q does apply on hit effects, so that's a, a great thing to have. Uh, well, you saw the, you saw what happened there. It was actually pretty good for me. So let's uh, let's do this quickly. Take out the this mini wave. Maybe I can I can make Riven miss some of this farm, which will be great. I'm gonna try and push this quickly, quickly. Come on, come on, come on. It's much more important to push it than to farm it up at this point. Nah, I think it's too late. She's gonna be here in time. I tried. I tried. Oh well. And yeah, no, she's gonna get most of it. It would have been excellent if she missed like half this mini wave. Okay, let's go back. Uh, let's get some damage. And I'll get a ward. On our health pot, and, and I'll get a long sword for now. I want to have more damage than her. And the idea here is, I'm gonna go for a, a Vamp Scepter. And once I get my Vamp Scepter, that's pretty much all the sustain I need for the lane. And I'm gonna build, uh, most likely, a Sheen, so I can start harassing her with my Q. And just wither her down and eventually just kill her again. That's basically gonna be the, the, the deal here. And depending on how she does from now on, I might need to go a little bit tanky. Maybe I'll get a Giant's Belt, uh, or finish a... She's gonna fight me head on, like you can see there, which is fine by me. That's fine. You can see I I can actually trade quite well with Riven, and that's basically it. I'll, I'll get my health back, and then maybe maybe we can fight again. A couple of shots there should put me at, should put me at, at an advantage. And now I have my removed Scurvy, so I can every time she tries to stun me, I can remove remove that and just keep attacking her. There we go. This is actually going great in my favor. It's fine to waste. Not it's not really wasting my mana if I can get a couple of uh, good shots in there. And remember that every time you do last hit an enemy with your Q, you will recover some of your your spent mana. So it's great to last hit with it. It's actually made for last hitting, basically. There we go, looking great. She's completely zoned out right now. 
And I don't want to make any mistakes here. I, I want to wait for her to show her face. There she is. Like I said, I just want to fight her. Ah, she's dead now. Yeah, easily. Easily taken down. No problemo. And that's that's basically all all the advantage I needed. From now on, it's going to be extremely powerful. Now, they do have a healthy amount of AD here with a Master Yi in the jungle, a Jarvan mid, and a Riven top. So I'm going to go for uh, Ninja Tabbies, definitely. So I got my, my Global Ultimate now. I got one... I got enough mana for char uh, using it once, so maybe I, hopefully I can make it happen. Uh, help out someone here, and she's gonna miss all of this minion wave, which is great for me. It's gonna basically reset the lane, and I'm gonna be ready. Uh, really far ahead of her as well. So let's get this. Work on those. There we go. Ninja tabbies. One more health pot, and everything's looking great. Top is Mia. Got ulti. If you need help. Alright, ultimate is great uh, for taking assist, farming other lanes, uh, and also, of course, sometimes even getting a, a kill. Now, the damage is not consistent. It's really tough to depend on it 100%. Uh, but you can make some great plays with it. Just assisting with the slow is sometimes more than enough. Okay, yeah, he didn't do nearly enough damage for me to go in there. Well, little ribbon, come here. Yeah, your shield's not gonna help you. I shall destroy you. Yeah, there you go. Just more, more of those, and she should be going down pretty soon here. Yeah, completely zoned out at this point. <laughs> okay, that she went for the shield prematurely there. And even if I get ganked by the Master Yi right now, I I can most likely get away. I got my flash and, and all that good stuff, so yeah. What's up? What's up, Riven? Yeah, establish your, your early dominance. Oh, oh, here we go. I should be able to help out the little Tarek there. Come on, come on. A few more auto attacks from you and you got him. You got him. Come on, come on, come on. One more. No, he got away. That's a wasted ultimate. That's fine though, overall. Overall pretty decent there. Good job. All good my all good my little Nami. You are forgiven. <laughs> Too slow on your shield there, my friend. Oh, I'm sorry for that, man. And hopefully I won't die here. Nah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm gone. And again, she w she l lost all of this uh, mini wave, and it was a horrible idea for her to, her to initiate there. She need really needed to wait until the minions pushed to the turret. So that way, even though she she was gonna get zoned out a little bit, she will most likely uh, get a level level or two off of that. But no go. So let's get this. Uh, the AP is kind of wasted, not that much, because you do have uh, AP modifier on your cannon barrage, your ultimate, and your move scurvy. But overall, uh, I I really want the sheen. That's the main reason why why I'm getting this. The sheen will make my Q hurt quite a bit. M most likely make my oh you actually might die here. Yeah, I think he's gonna die. Oh, whoa, whoa. nice job there. But not enough. Not enough. Not enough, my friends. That was a good uh, Nami ultimate forget what it's called, Tidal Wave? I, I've barely ever seen Nami. It's because she's free this week, basically, while you, while you see her all around. Oh, really? You're really gonna fight me again? Dude, really? <laughs> I can probably kill the Master Yi here. I, I, I might be able to kill him, actually. As well. There we go. I got him. <laughs> and that's also a wasted teleport from the, the Master Yi, so that actually was a great, uh, great engagement for us. For me, at least. Oh, oh. Come see this little jar, man. I might be able to get away. Never mind. One Q and I'm dead. Oh, man. I should have listened. That was me. 
I'm at two greedy. My bad. My bad. But that means Brand can push down the mid turret. Okay, so like I said, mo they have mostly AD. So I'm gonna try and finish. Okay, here's the thing. Usually I build a Trinity Force. But in this game, since they have so much AD, I might go for an Iceborne Gauntlet. The Gauntlet does work uh, great with your. Uh, you're, you're dead, dude. Your, your Gauntlet works great against uh, AD teams. And you also have that, that great uh, slow on your Q. So every time you land your Q, you should be able to slow down enemies on that area. Now, I'm not sure if landing the Q procs the uh, Iceborne Gauntlet as a range or, me or melee. We're, we'll, we'll see about that in a little bit. Here we go. I'm going to go aggressive once again against the Riven. Just Q her, walk to her, and keep killing. Simple as that. Anyone here? Man, I died. I gave I gave Jarvan a really big advantage there. There you go. You're you're dead again, my friend. You kind of have to fly. There you go. And now I have complete dominance of the lane, as you can see. And it was all thanks to the really early aggression I, I got there. Maybe she played it a little bit um, wrong there at, at the beginning, and uh, maybe she could have actually killed me, but it, it just went in my favor overall. So. That's that. From that moment on, I've been dominating. And of course, you're gonna. I'm gonna let you see the farm in a little bit, and you'll see how far ahead I really am, and levels and kills and everything. Just let me get all of this last hits. Oh no, failure! I am maxing my Q first, followed by my E. If you have not watching. So here we go. Let's see. She's level six, 35 farm. I'm level uh, 10, 75, 5 kills, so basically, yeah, I, I completely dominated this lane. If I if I wasn't re greedy a moment ago, I could have actually um, gone greedy again. <laughs> I'm, I'm alive, I'm alive. Fine. Ah, man, no kill? That's fine. Okay, Master G could come for me, so let's get the hell out of here. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Oh, I should have actually cured her once more. I would have died there, actually. That's fine. Let's let's ha let her have a few levels there. Poor little ribbon. The minions could have actually killed her there. Okay, let's go for the armor. Yeah, no no doubt. Getting armor this game is gonna be the best bet. Ah, oh, my ignite just came up. <laughs> that was a nice bait from the. Uh, Riven, she could have actually killed me there. And I was being greedy as well, but who cares at this point? <laughs> I'm way, way far ahead. So, I, I haven't really been farming that much with my Q, only 122 extra gold from it. But I've have been using it to zone out the Riven, so it pays off in the end. Uh, a long time ago, people used to play Game Clan completely uh, farm centered. So, that, that meant you went for maxing Q, max cooldown reduction. Uh, gold for 10 items. This is back in Season 2 when you had Card of Gold and all that good stuff and you would just buy uh, you would buy a Philosopher's Stone, a Heart of Gold sometimes even a Blade of Avarice and just stay there in the lane the whole game it will be extremely boring but you will become such a strong champion later on that nobody could do anything to stop you like at all but not so much anymore. It's not that effective. Ah oh, man, I should have waited a little bit. That's fine. That's fine. She she's also maxing her shield first, which means she hurts. She doesn't really hurt at all. There we go. I'm not I'm not getting close to that one. But look at those cues. And still no presence from Master Yi at the top lane. For, except from that te failed teleport, which I actually killed him. So maybe he raged. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh no, there he is. Good thing, because I don't want to scrub this game off because rage from people. I hate that. I hate it when that happens. Okay, I'm going to dive her again. Why not? Got flash and everything. There you go. She burned her shield. She's going down. Oh man, that, that wasn't even a needed. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Let's take this. 
and I might go to check the red buff. Never mind, mid is gone, so that means I need to go back as well. I don't want any any issues here. And I should be able to buy. Yeah, I can buy the shroud. Actually, they didn't come for me. Let's let's be a little bit greedy and go for the smoke golems and one more mini wave. Oh, nice, good job there. One more mini wave, smoke golems. Oh yeah. And I might check the red buff as well. Maybe it's up. That would be awesome if it is. Oh, I think it should be. Could be up. Could be up. Nope. Oh, wasn't that lucky? No, little Shaco! Shakido. I'm sorry, my friend. This world was not meant for you. Okay, I got enough for the Iceborne Gauntlet. I'm just gonna get this. I, I saw Riven. Don't worry, guys. I'm going back. No problemo. Yeah, definitely getting the the Iceborne Gauntlet here. Nobody will be able to get away from me, and I'll be extremely tanky. One more wave, and I'm gone. Okay, never mind. I'm gone now. Run, my friend, run. Excellent. And also, the cooldown reduction from this is going to be great for my ultimate and my Q spamming. So, overall, a good item. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Maybe we can start making an appearance at other lanes, shall we? Okay, let's see how how, how big the AoE from the, uh, the parley hit will be. Okay, let's go mid. Let's go mid. Maybe we can bait it. Are you gonna bait it? Good. Holy moly! Man, he's powerful. Got him, though. Shut down. Yeah! I'm sorry I baited into that one, dude, but I wanted the blue buff. Buff transfer complete? Let's say it was. Here we go. Come here! Come here, my little friend. Okay, let's go. Let's go top. Even like this, I can kill Riven with this much HP right now. But I'm not gonna be cocky. I'm just gonna go. Actually, let's go in there. Let's kill her. Oh man, let's go. Come on, Shaco. You got her. You got her. Oh yeah, here we go. Dude. Dude, you, you can't do anything here. I'm sorry. Just not gonna be your game. Not this time, little. Okay, actually, as you can see, it's the uh, large AOE from a melee attack, so that's a great. It's great to have that Q. Q spamming. Ooh, nice. Double kill. Brand sacrificing himself for the greater good. Wow, this game is really in our favor. Holy moly, you're strong, dude. Damn. Ouch. Let's see what he has. Oh, he has a last whisper. No wonder. Okay, let's go for a... Um, kind of want to go for an omen. I'm also working on that. And maybe I'll get my own uh, Blade of the Ruin key. Be careful, dude. What are you doing? Get it quickly. There you go. Yes, we can. We can do whatever we want. Why are you smiting it? What? Oh, Riven. She's oblivious to the fact. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, let's go for more armor, shall we? We got plenty of damage already. I'm away. Shiver me timbers. Oh man, this guy pretty fed right now. Look at that. Let's see his items and I mean his kills. Eight kills. He's pretty much as fed as I am. And he has more farm, so that was my mistake fighting him head on. Yeah, not a good idea. And that's another death dead ribbon. Let's go. I'm going in. Oh yeah, you're fast. But I can catch up. Your beauties. I'm gonna check his blue, uh, red buff. I mean, blue buff should be up. 
really want that boobah for myself. Okay, let, let's go bot. Let's go bot. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Get the little Tarek as well, maybe me? Yeah, I got it. Let's get this quickly. Help me out. Yeah. Excellent job, my friends. Come on. Do your thing. Quickly. No, 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 no. He's gonna take it. You got him, though. No. I wanna kill him. There we go. There we go. He's dead. There we go. You're not gonna be able to kill me, dude. <laughs> you missed. Triple kill for me. Did we get the dragon? No, we didn't have smite there. That's pretty unfortunate. But oh, oh you, you can have it. You can have it, my friend. No problem. Oh, get that. Get her. Get her. Yes. I got her. No, dude, that was my kill. My. I'm so buffed. I'm so buffed. I'm not, no, no, no. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, let's run. Let's just run. Through the mid. Careful, my friend. Okay, going back. I should be able to finish the omen. There we go. Full omen right away. And I'm gonna focus on damage now. And I hope you don't die, dude. I just saw you getting stunned. No, you're fine. Oh, whoa, whoa. No, dude, you missed! You should you should not be going that way. Nope. Yeah, you better run. No, 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 my top lane. My, I can't let my train go down. Come on. That will be like the perfect laning phase here. Some games you can uh, go complete, completely on the damage side instead of getting tankiness. But the thing is, since we do have a Shako, Shakito in the jungle, he's actually not that, of course, he's not a tank or anything like that, so you, you have to fill in the role of a uh, off tank, basically. So, that's what I'm doing here, and please stop dying, people. Come on. You're doing so great. That Jarman is going to be an issue. Because I'm not really here, I can't really protect people, and it's hard for me to catch, the, uh, catch uh, onto them and initiate. I only have my ultimate for that. While well, Jarvan can jump to, uh, to people over and over. Let's, let's try and see if we can catch up to, to the ribbon. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, better keep running. Man, she's so far behind. I'm level 16. Let's see how much... <laughs> died 8 times for a ribbon. No, 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 no. I'm away, I'm away. Oh, this is not looking good. Oh yeah, there you go, there you go, good job. Here we go. There we go. Now I'm going for the Tyrek. Got my... There we go. There we go. Yeah! Now let's take the mid turret, shall we? Let's go, let's go, my friend, let's go. Here you go. More attack for you. This is mine, dude. Just, I'm gonna take this. Oh, come on. Just take it. Just take it. Just take it. Got my Scribby. Remove Scribby. Oh, yeah. Should be. We could probably take another turret. Dude, what's up with that? Whoa. Whoa. What was that? There we go. Uh, I don't want to tank this anymore. Just take the turret. Let's go for the turret. No, dude, 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 dude. Oh, man, so much damage. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, take the red buff. Excellent job. I'm running back, I'm running back. And we can get the... Um, cut loss and some attack speed. Well, blow me down! Excellent. I'll wait for the barriers to get here. No, my friend, you gave a driven a kill. No. Well, at least she's worth gold now, which is awesome. Yeah. Oh man, he has no HP. Maybe I can catch up to him. Nah. 
Maybe he'll he'll get greedy and try and take the turret. That will be awesome. Oh yeah, he is. Oh man, I can probably kill him. He he probably doesn't have ulti as well. Oh, we got friend of <laughs> Okay, guys. So yeah, that's pretty much how to dominate top lane with Gangplank. At least against Riven. Just be really aggressive and win. So yeah, Invader Sive, sending out.